Today I'm making homemade tostadas with picadillo. This is gonna be good. Okay, so to start these tostadas, I'm going to make picadillo. Here I've been preheating a medium-sized pan. I'm gonna add two tablespoons of cooking oil, and now I'm going to saute one medium potato, one small onion, and one small carrot that I've diced. I'm gonna add that to the pan. I'm also going to add a pinch of salt, and I'm going to saute this for five to seven minutes over a medium heat. Now I'm going to add two cloves of garlic that I've minced, and I'm going to saute for an additional minute or so. Here I'm going to be adding one pound of lean ground meat. I'm using ground turkey today, but typically I like to use ground beef when I have it. Now I'm going to season with a half teaspoon of garlic powder, a half teaspoon of onion powder, a quarter teaspoon of ground cumin, a quarter teaspoon of cracked black pepper, I'm also going to add one teaspoon of bouillon powder. This is beef bouillon powder. You could use chicken or just salt if you prefer. I'm going to break apart the meat and cook through. Now that the meat is cooked, I'm going to add three scallions that I've just chopped. Add it into the pan, combine. Now I'm going to add a half cup of water. This is going to help cook the potato through. I'm going to cover with a lid and I'm gonna simmer this on a medium low heat for about 12 to 15 minutes or until the potato is soft and tender. Now for the tostadas. Here I've preheated oil and I'm just going to add store-bought corn tortillas into the hot oil and I'm going to cook these or fry these until they are golden brown on each side. You could also skip this step and just buy pre-made tostadas from the store. That definitely works. Once my tostadas are done, I'm going to place them on a baking sheet with a wire rack to let any residual oil run off. And that's how I make my tostadas. You can season these lightly with salt, but this is fine for me. So I have six tostadas fried. This is enough for what I'm doing today. And my picadillo is done. Now I'm gonna crank up the heat a little bit and just let some of that excess moisture evaporate. And this is ready. Now it's time to build my tostadas. Okay, so here I've taken one of my crispy tostadas and now I'm just going to start building it with my refried beans. By the way, I didn't show you how I made these because these were actually left over and already refried. I just heated them. But if you want a recipe for refried beans, I will link them in the description below. I'm also going to add my picadillo. And funny story about the picadillo. You could just use ground meat, but growing up, if we had one pound of ground beef, then we would add like two or three potatoes to make it stretch more. So that's why I like doing picadillo. I'm adding my shredded lettuce, fresh tomato, cheese of your choice. I'm going with a mild cheddar. Now I'm going to add some leftover salsa from a video that I made a couple days ago. And I'm going to cover with Mexican sour cream. This is Mexican crema. And this is dinner, so good. Now I'm going to attempt to try this without it falling apart. Wish me luck. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it. And thanks for watching.